Gobble gobble, Eastview. It's Turkey Day here at The Flash. I'm Andrew, and this is Isabel. Andrew, you're pretty into the Thanksgiving spirit this year, aren't you? Of course I am. I love Thanksgiving. There's lots of shopping, traditions, and of course, I love the food. Well, if you love the food so much, why don't you find out the secret recipe to Sammy's pies? I've heard they're delicious. Tonight, we're going to make chocolate and butterscotch pie. We'll start out with pie crust. And roll the pie crust and score it. Cook it for 13 minutes at 450 degrees Fahrenheit. One cup of sugar, one fourth cup of cornstarch, a half a teaspoon of salt, two and two thirds cup milk, a fourth cup of butter, then cook and stir. Add three egg yolks and a dash of vanilla, one and one half squares of unsweetened chocolate. Then you have your chocolate pie. Now, we're gonna make butterscotch pie. One cup of brown sugar, one fourth cup of cornstarch, a half a teaspoon of salt, two and two thirds cup of milk, two and two thirds cup of water, a fourth cup of butter, then cook and stir. Add three egg yolks and a dash of vanilla. Then you have your butterscotch pie. Two great easy pies to make in less than a half an hour. Signing off for The Flash, this is Sammy. Thanks, Sammy. You've got my tummy grumbling for Thursday. But Isabel, pie isn't the only part of the Thanksgiving meal. You can't forget the main course, turkey. Annie got new interesting information on that animal. Minnesota is the land of 10,000 lakes, the North Star State, and home to many loons. But there's another bird from Minnesota that's receiving a lot of attention, the turkey. Minnesota's first in, in the United States in turkey production. We raised about 46 million turkeys uh, in the last couple of years here. Not only is Minnesota first in turkey production, we also have a very long history. It's been a long time. Our association is 73 years old. You know, turkey farming in Minnesota predates that. We've got a lot of second, third, and fourth generation turkey growers. And so they know what they're doing. They've been through those business cycles. They've been through the ups and the downs, and they've been able to survive those. It's one of those things where it kind of, it's, it's kind of evolved over time. Um, we used to raise them outside um, and, and have switched to raising them inside barns. And, and when we switched to raising them inside, that gave us the ability to raise them year-round. However, the biggest honor for any turkey nationwide is the Presidential Turkey Pardon on Thanksgiving. And the National Turkey Federation sponsors this in, in conjunction with the White House. And so the, the chairman of the National Turkey Federation for that year is the person that brings the, uh, the turkey to the president. And this year, that person's from Minnesota. But it's been a great way to kind of highlight the industry and, and also to kick off the Thanksgiving season. And where do the pardoned turkeys go? Birds have been transported to a petting zoo uh, for a few years. They actually went to Disneyland, and the last couple of years, uh, the birds are going to Mount Vernon. So these birds will go to Mount Vernon. Hopefully, one of the Minnesota turkeys this year gets the pardon. Signing off for the Flash. This is Annie Ayersman. Thanks, Annie. It's nice to know new information about the turkey. Not everybody eats turkey on Thanksgiving. There are many other traditions. We'll set out to find out what Eastview's traditions are. The day most of us have been waiting for is tomorrow, so I want to find some Thanksgiving traditions from students here at Eastview. My Thanksgiving tra day tradition is I wake up really early and I make caramel rolls for my family and then I watch Macy's Day Parade and the dog show with my mom and then we eat a big Thanksgiving dinner and then I watch the Cowboys game with my dad. Um, our Thanksgiving traditions is we always watch the Macy's Parade and then we eat KFC for dinner. <laughs> what I do for Thanksgiving is I usually wake up at about 9 a.m. Then I uh, usually eat some breakfast, maybe shower, um, put on some deodorant, put on some sweatpants, my favorite pair of sweatpants because I'm going to be eating a lot, so I just got to get ready to indulge. Our Thanksgiving traditions are that we have a really big dinner, like around 7, and then we all usually stay up and then we go shopping for Black Friday. My Thanksgiving tradition is eating a lot of food and then sleeping afterwards. Whether it's spending a lot of time with your family, eating a lot of food, or preparing for Black Friday shopping, be sure to have a happy Thanksgiving. Signing off for The Flash, this is Will. Thanks, Will. It's nice to get, see people getting in that Thanksgiving state of mind. Isabel, have you been keeping up with those Black Friday training exercises I taught you? Of course. I have to be in tip-top shape to take on the crowds. Knowing you, Isabel, I think you're up for the challenge. <laughs> Stay tuned for the credits, Eastfield. Have a great Thanksgiving break.
Kenny, what are you doing? Training for Black Friday. You have to train for that? Haven't you started? It's in like three days. Oh, we didn't know we were supposed to. You guys better get started. All right, let's go. All right, here you go. Four sets, four sets, ready? Two, three, up. You got it, you got it, come on. Valley boys both passed. Congratulations. You're ready for Black Friday. 